Aldabra tortoises here today with another Aldabra tortoise description for you folks. Sam from the Giant Tortoise Farm. This is ID number 5255. And again, you know, I like this tortoise. He's got a high dome and he's pretty wide and round. Wouldn't you think there, Andrew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty wide for his size. Five and a half inches. He's got a great shape. You can see he's double skewed here in the back. He's got a lot. Of, he's got a real good weight. And he's pretty lively, you know, he's not crazy, but he's moving around there. Yeah, if you head more that way, we'll try to get you, get a little walk here. Go this way, walk this way, there you go. Yeah, they all have that kind of crazy walk when you first take them out of their environment. And uh, let me just hold him for a second. He's a little stimulated there. So you all kind of have that crazy walk when you first take them out of their environment because they're babies and they're they're not used to their environment until they start running around and scattering and everything. But, you know, I always like to give a couple little facts. What is the difference between males and females? What is the behavior difference between males and females? And, you know, I don't really like to make a lot of videos about this, but honestly, you know, when it comes to intelligence, I really think the girls are smarter than the boys. Don't tell anybody I told you, but I'll tell you why. The girls, I have a gate, and that gate, you have to slide this way to open. And if you want to go in, you have to slide this way. Now, what the girls do is they go up to the gate and they know to slide the gate, pick the gate up, move that board and go this way until they do that repetition so many times and they actually open up the slides of the gate. So I've had to do things like put bolts through there and everything just to stop them from opening up the gate. One of the reasons I think that females are smarter, you know, the females have a lot more to think about. They've got to calculate, calculate where the males are, what the males are doing. If they're eating, sometimes they don't like to eat with the males because the only thing the males are really interested in doing is mounting the females. So sometimes the females just are, are done with it and they don't want to uh, be bothered by the male. So they wait their turn and they you know, will wander around the pen. And you see them acting and behaving differently. What's interesting, though, is the boys act like boys. The boys are outgoing. They're a little more outgoing. They're a little bit more aggressive. And the other thing is, is that you know, when they want to come out of the pen, guess what they do? They don't slide the gate. They go through the gate. So they'll just smash it. They'll just smash it down. I've had them break two by sixes, two by eights, pull four by fours that are cemented in the ground. They pull it out. So, you know, maybe it's not that they're not as smart. Maybe they just have the power. After all, you know, a big female, 300 pounds. A big male, six, seven, 800 pounds. And they have that personality that goes along with it. They just like ramming things. That's the nature of an Aldabra tortoise. They just like ramming stuff. Somebody's in their way, I'm just going to ram that. That's their sense of communication. And that's another wrap from the farm, folks. Take care, everybody.